Hello, and welcome to our short presentation on how to become an internet research specialist. The video benefits information professionals that tend to be blissfully unaware of their competence in performing web searches for their research work. This is part one of three parts videos on the topic. My colleague, William, will take over from here. Hi, I am Will, and will be your host for the rest of the video you are watching now. We start by identifying preliminaries for starting professional research work as an internet research specialist. These are the 12 essential elements of online research preparedness. So buckle up and let's get you started. We will discuss each element briefly. The first one understands that the technology behind web page content matching is important for selecting the most appropriate search operators in building a query string. Two, search queries use an incredibly complex language of proprietary search operators. Its effective use is a learned skill that helps you find more refined and targeted results. Three, you may have difficulty finding the information pages you need without the right keywords and correct search phrases. Several techniques are applied in building search terms that must be supported by the context for intent translation. Four, all mainstream search engines use a ranking for relevance, which makes results inherently biased. One way to neutralize or minimize bias is to adjust browser settings, such as data privacy, anonymity, location, and language preferences. Five, the search results satisfaction depends on semantically interpreting users' search intent. Understanding textual semantics used by search engines helps in query structuring. It directs precision searches and avoids the forced bias of implied context in search results. Six, with so many tools and utilities in browsers such as Chrome, users must get intimately familiar not only with how, but at the same time, make an informed decision in their selection of use. For example, the image search runs separate algorithms that will not work the same as looking for images with search queries. Therefore, each tool or utility has its advantages and limitations of use. Seven, internet browsers have bookmarking features, but what one may need is a more sophisticated bookmark managing system for online research. A good habit of finding the location of important databases and frequently used resources in routine research is like highways, and you must have a map to take you where you want to go with directions in hand. This is a resource that gets collected over time. It prevents wasting time and hunting through search histories. Eight, specialized search engines function differently than major search engines like Google. Search engines are focused on finding certain specialized searches, such as PDFs, images, videos, free photos, research papers, etc. Another kind is a web portal, a site of Wayback Machine that archives cached pages in its records. A site, Wolfram Alpha, does complex mathematical computations. You should find a detailed list of specialized search engines with the Association of Internet Research Specialists, AOFIRS. Nine, any research work requires a systematic approach and planning. Using the internet for research is no different from using traditional industry-recognized research methods, including those used in collecting online information and data. A well-planned data management plan must separate the qualitative and quantitative types for analytics. It should identify each source as being primary or secondary. A sample selection and rationale of methods applied in sampling must also be industry recognized and acceptable. 10. A large part of research is collecting, organizing, and processing data. But the most important is performing data analysis and deriving inferences. The data analysis process looks for patterns and other insights to make informative decisions. There are several methods and techniques for analyzing data tables. Depending on the available data types, several strategies are available for its analysis. Today one can use sophisticated software that performs statistical analytics, data visualization, dispersion analysis, business intel, and several others. 11. Legal and ethical issues form an important component of modern research to mitigate business risks and potential liabilities. For example, every research deals with the legalities of the jurisdiction on the internet. This is followed by issues of anonymity and privacy in data collection methods, a duty for data protection, its reuse, and obtaining informed consent where a human subject is involved. Another in the list is how to avoid infringing upon anyone's intellectual property, such as in copyrights, or trademarks and patent protection laws. 12. Professional research businesses are like any other services business for their formation and operational needs. However, 
The most important are the soft skills for research work. While hard skills are easy to learn, soft skills are perhaps the most important for independent research work. Typically most highlighted soft skills in this business are the natural knack for problem solving with critical thinking and understanding situational complexities based on all available data and information collected. This finishes the first leg of our introduction to identifying the most important aspects of online research preparedness. I hope to see you in the second part that is coming soon. Thank you for viewing and don't forget to leave your valuable comments. I hope you have enjoyed the short introduction in this part one. There is a lot more coming to educate our association members and those planning to become internet research specialists. Remember that while internet research work has been going on for many years, the internet research specialist is considered a fairly new occupation that has yet to make its way into formal libraries of new job descriptions today. Because of its newness, there was no structured curriculum for their education and training. Our flagship certification, CERS Certified Internet Research Specialists, is the only professional credential that meets this challenge. Please find out more by visiting our website at www.aaffairs.org. Thank you for watching.